Hi guys and girls, welcome back to Watch Your Time. Uh, today, another first for the channel. This this watch was sent in by a fellow YouTuber, really good bloke, uh, somewhere in time. Uh, his channel's doing really well at the moment. Um, if you, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description of the video. So obviously go over and check him out. Really good bloke. Uh, very interactive as well. If you, if you have any questions or anything, he's more than happy to get back to you. And as I say, I, I, I was on his Instagram and was liking a few of his pictures and I came across this watch from Rotary. It's a Henley GMT. Really like the look of it. It's been sort of reminding me of Rolex, Rolex Explorer and a Grand Seiko. And obviously being a, being a, being a tight wad that I am, and given the fact it's a rotary, I know that it's not going to be anywhere near as, as expensive. So liking it, I started looking it up. Uh, fortunately, we got talking, and he said, "I'm really happy to let you borrow the watch uh, if you want to if you want to use it on your YouTube channel, spend a bit of time with it." And I was like, "Listen, that's, that's very decent of you. Thank you very much." 24 hours later, it was it was at my door. So fantastic gesture, man. I do appreciate it. And as 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 I allude to in my video. The people, there's a lot of people in the watch community that are doing videos and stuff that are just really, really good people, and um, it's nice to talk to fellow people or other people that are into watches as I am, because uh, a lot of my friends and family don't understand the the sort of addiction that you can get into with buying a watch. You buy one, you buy two, you buy twenty. It becomes a bit of an addiction because you find something else that you like. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. The reference number for this Henley GMT is GB zero five two nine five forward slash zero five really nice watch i'm i'm wearing it at the moment i've had it on for a couple of days now and it is really really nice it's 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 surpassed my expectations and i've also told uh somewhere in time that actually i once i send it back to him i'm gonna have to probably gonna buy one because yeah i wasn't i, I bought an aqua uh was it aqua speed i think it was omega uh rotary i, I said it looked a bit like a an omega uh, didn't really get on with it. The bezel wasn't very good and other bits and pieces. And I've had a few rotaries in the past and again, they're not up to snuff. But this watch is starting to claw it back a little bit for me with the with the old uh, rotary. So well done. Um, like, as I say, I'll leave a link to Somewhere in Time's channel. And also, if you want to catch another sort of someone who's put their own slant on this watch, I bought a watch. He's also covered it. So I'll leave that in the description as well. Yeah, I hope this video finds you well and you're intrigued to see what it looks like just as much as I am. But anyway, let's get the camera turned around and get on with it. Hi right, guys, so this is the watch. As I said in the brief intro, it was sent in by a fellow YouTuber somewhere in time. His name's Adrian, I hope you don't mind me saying his name. Really good bloke. Um, yeah, I'll also, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel and his Instagram in the description. Check him out, really, really good bloke. We got talking, um, I like this pic the picture of this watch. And he said to me, listen, I'm happy for you to borrow it for a little while. And I was like, wow. So he sent it next day, special delivery. Here it turned up. And we're going to have a quick look at it. Uh, he's also uh, done an unboxing, first impression sort of video of this watch review sort of thing. As has um, I Bought a Watch, another YouTuber. I'll leave their links. I'll leave links to their channels in the description in case you don't have them. Uh, good people. Uh, I must say, some of the people in the watch community are fantastic people. So yeah, but anyway, here's the watch. Uh, as before, I go off on a tangent, which I do quite regularly. So the reference, the model number, excuse me, GB zero five two nine five forward slash zero four. Uh, it runs a quartz GMT movement, as you can see, it's a GMT watch. Uh, I really like this watch, to be honest. I think this watch is a real sleeper. The quality of it is amazing for a, a, a rotary. I must be honest. Over the years of having a few rotary watches, I've, I've been very, very disappointed, but. This watch is everything that a rotary should be and aspire to be and keep improving, to be honest. They've, for me, they've rested on their laurels for way too long. But as I say, let's go through the, the dimensions and specs of the watch very quickly. So uh, the case material, so that's the case, crown, bit of fixed bezel, case back, bracelet, and butterfly clasp. They're all 316L stainless steel. Uh, mixed Mixture of brushing and polishing, um, but I'll run through that in a second. The case thickness is 10 millimeters, nice and thin. The case diameter from one side to the other is 40 millimeters, and at the crown is 43 millimeters. So as I say, wears very, very well. Um, the case back is screwed down, so it's gonna make it quite easy to unscrew it and change the battery when the, when the, when the time arises. 
It's got a bit of signage at the back to say water resistance, 100 meters stainless steel, sapphire glass, all that good stuff. Plus the reference number of the, other, the model number I just gave you. The bezel type is fixed. Really, really like it. Obviously, it's got a GMT bezel given a 24 hour clock. So you can obviously set the GMT hand uh, however many hours ahead or behind that you are. The, the crown is also screwed down. Again, really nice touch. And the knurling on it is fantastic. Buttery smooth. Um, really, really nice. Obviously, where it's a quartz, it obviously will hack. But I'll run through that in a moment once we go through a little bit more detail on the dial. So yeah, the lug the lug width is 40 millimeters. And that does taper down to 18 millimeters at the clasp. It is a butterfly clasp. The lug to lug, so top to bottom, tip to tip, is 47 millimeters. So it wears it wears very, very well. Really, really nice on the wrist, I must say. And the as I said, butterfly clasp, safety, safety pusher, and it's nicely milled actually. It goes in very nicely. And I don't know if you can make this out, but on each part of the, of the of the bill butterfly clasp has got rotary on the left, stainless steel on the right hand side. It's a nice bit of detail. The dial, the, excuse me, the water resistance is 100 meters, and the, the crystal covering that beautiful dial is, a, is sapphire crystal. Really, really nice touch at the price point. Well done, rotary. Uh, I'm, I'm always going to be a big fan of uh, sapphire crystal just purely because of the fact it offers such good protection for the watch. The weight is 134 grams. You'll see it appear in the top right-hand corner, as always. But yeah, well, let's, let's go run through the dial in a little bit more detail. So um, you've got applied battens all the way around. There is a bit of loom. I'll leave a loom video at the end. So you've got battens all the way around. You've got rotary and the symbol for uh, their, their logo at the 12. Henley GMT down at the 6. You've got a uh, date window at the 3 o'clock. The hands are really, really nice. I like, I like the fact that the second hand reaches out to the minute hand, and even the minute hand reaches out to the min the minute markers as well. Very nice touch. The GMT hand. So what we do is, if we unscrew it again, take it all the if we take it all the way out, as I've said, it will stop. Excuse me, we're now doing that. So we take it all the way out, it will stop. So we can set the time. If you're happy with the with the, the the time difference between uh, your time and the GMT time, then you can leave it as it is and just turn it, and it will do it for you. If you're not, let me just get it out of the way. You can, excuse me, let's put, take it out to the first position. Bear with me, guys. And then you can move it. If you put turn the crown towards you, you can do that. So we'll leave it on the eight for now, or just before the eight. And then if you want to set the date, you just go the opposite way, and it's as easy as that. Um, it was on the right date, so I'll I'll go back and put it on the relevant date. And I'll sort that out later. But yeah, it's easy as that. And like I say, as it so now it's 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 showing up as being so it's eight o'clock here. So excuse me, four o'clock here, sixteen there. And as it as it goes round, it will just keep a really really good time, and you'll be able to see the time difference. And if if you've got someone else in a different time zone, you can, what time is it there? Okay, cool. I can give them a call. I really like I like I really like GMTs. This watch looks very very similar to a Grand Seiko and also a Rolex Explorer 2. I'll leave pictures up for both of them. It almost looks like if they were to have a child, <laughs> this is what it would produce in my opinion. It looks very very nice. As I say, the build quality of this watch is exceptional. Um, but yeah, let me just get on the wrist quickly. I have sized it already just to make it a little bit easier. Um, I did have to take two links out for myself and it fits very very nice uh, so sort of two links it probably takes it up to probably eight inches it would fit uh, down you can take a few more links out probably to six inches so a couple of inches I would say leeway either way um, but yeah like I said I'm, I'm blown away by this watch and I've, I've told uh, somewhere in time as well that I think this watch is a real sleeper of a watch to be honest in terms of what you're getting for the price but as always, let's go through the thing I think of pants and pucker, starting with pants. Um, very difficult to pick holes in this watch, if I'm perfectly honest. For the £150, $200 price mark, I think this watch is, is batting well above its station, to be honest. But one thing I would say is the second hand not aligning at every minute marking is a problem for me. Because I think with a quartz watch, what you want to see really it, with the, 
it, uh, is because obviously there's not they don't t tend to you don't have as much interaction with a quartz movement as much as you do an automatic or manual or mechanical movement. So what what I would like to have seen is that every every minute or every second it ticks round, it hits the mark in nice. Some it hits nice, some it doesn't, which for me is a bit of a letdown if I'm honest. Like, if it, if it if it was consistent and it didn't hit any of them, for me it would show that it's a slightly better movement because it's consistent with its with its ticks. Where it's all over the place, I, I hasten to add they probably haven't put the best uh, Japanese movement inside this. Um, but that's just my opinion. They've got Swiss made down at the down at the six. I apologise, I didn't mention that before. I don't imagine they put a Swiss uh, quartz movement in this, like a Ronda or something. I think it's probably going to be a Japanese movement. And like I say, it's just a bit disappointing. And also, when, when you come to see it outside uh, in certain lights, it's not easy to see. So a bit of AR coating would not have gone amiss with this watch also, just to make it a bit more easier, a bit more legible in different light conditions. That would have been very good. And that brings us on to what I think is pucker about the watch, because it's going to significantly outweigh what I think is pants. So I think the Sapphire Crystal, all day long, always going to be very happy with Sapphire Crystal. If you know me, I'm a bit of a Sapphire Crystal fiend. I love a bit of Sapphire Crystal on my watch. The GMT, in terms of the functionality that it offers, like I say, it's now four o'clock. So whoever, whoever I'm looking at, they're going to be four hours ahead. Um, excuse me, eight hours ahead. So it allows you to play around with it and actually get real specific in terms of, okay, they're eight hours ahead. Can I give them a call? Is it too late? And so on and so forth. GMTs, I really like them. This is the second GMT that I've got my hands on. And this is the first quartz one I've had. And yeah, I think they've done a good job. The dial, in terms of the finishing, it's got like a real high polish black uh, dial. And I think they've applied the indices all the way around very well. Uh, the black, the silver, and the orange really contrast each other very, very nicely. And I like, I like the way they've done the date window as well. Very nice. Very well done. And the, the bezel, um, I think it's really done nicely. It's brushed. It's a brushed bezel. And it's got, obviously, 24 hours going all the way around to allow you to do a G, uh, to, eff to effectively set the time for GMT zone. And the bracelet, uh, the tolerance is very, very good. There's not much play in the lugs. Uh, it's very, very solid bracelet. Uh, just a push pull, just, just excuse me, put, push pin, push pin. Sorry, excuse me. I'm getting, I'm going, I'm got, going off on a tangent. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, the butterfly clasp, I said, very, very nice. And I think you're going to struggle to find something with a brand like Rotary with the history um, for this price point. Would I recommend this watch? Most certainly. I think once I send this watch back. To somewhere in time I'm, i might start looking into buying one myself to put in my collection uh just because i think i could definitely do a watch like this uh, i'm not a huge fan of quartz again you might know that about me i do prefer automatic watches but quartz definitely serve a purpose for their reliability uh how with an automatic watch they lose and gain sort of how 10 20 seconds whatever a day this would lose that or gain that a month so it's much more reliable N nice to grab hold of a quartz watch if you're in a rush pop it on off you go so yeah i'd recommend this watch uh, i will leave a link in the description taking you to uh the watch on amazon but obviously do shop around use the use the model numbers do shop around see if you can get it anywhere cheaper and yeah like i said before thank you uh somewhere in time for sending this in much appreciated uh, much much appreciated thank you very much and yeah guys let me know what you think about this watch i think it's a little cracker um not a lot of exposure like i said Two other YouTube channels have covered it. I will leave a link in the description. But yeah, let me know what you think, guys. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But like I always say, don't forget to like, subscribe, and always watch your time. Take care, guys. All the very best. <laughs>